In the game Smash Ultimate, Lucas' Zare is a very versatile tool with a lot of depth that can change a lot for the character as a whole. With the inclusion of the new tech Double Jump Cancel Zares, he has access to new combo routes that many people haven't seen. But what if I told you guys that that is only just the beginning of what Zare can do? My name's Chaco Taco, and today I'm gonna show you guys all the different ways to use Lucas' Zare and really stuff up your Lucas gameplay to the next level. This video is gonna serve as your tool to really explore the different options with Zare so you can really level up your gameplay. However, I do want to recommend for those who are just starting out and learning Zare for the first time to check out King of Wizards' video. It's a very comprehensive guide that breaks down the movement step by step and honestly was my tool that I used to learn the movement itself and I recommend to most Lucas players today. So definitely check it out. I'll put in the link in the description below. Double jump canceling Zare, it can be performed at any time while Lucas is midair, so long as he inputs his double jump, Zare, and a direction at the same time. By doing this, he will fall into that direction with his Zare and cancels double jump momentum. The most common variation of Zare is the short hop double jump cancel Zare. This is done by inputting double jump and Zare within the first two to three frames of leaving the ground. This is the most common variation. However, there are two other variations that I don't see a lot of Lucas players using. The first variation is going to be called a snake dash. Now, a short hop double jump cancel there is done within two to three frames of leaving the ground. A snake dash is performed by inputting jump and Zare within the first frame of leaving the ground. It is a frame perfect tech and you will definitely have to learn how to do it However, if you do it properly, you will get kind of like a pseudo waveland movement going on, allowing for a quick burst of movement that can be used both defensively and offensively. Now, I gotta be honest, this tech may be the hardest of all the different Zare variations you can do. However, thanks to Ultimate's buffer system, you can actually perform this tech a lot easier. You can do this by inputting jump during the end lag of a move or an action. By doing this, the game will register the first jump after you do that action, and all you need to do is input the jump in Zare. In this example, against this Marth, I know that the Marth wants to throw out attacks after I hit a shield. So, I poke at a shield with my down tilt, I buffer the snake dash backwards after the end lag of the down tilt, and after the snake dash, I charge an S smash, punishing his F to out of shield. Lucas is not typically the fastest character on the ground, but with snake dashing, you allow for little micro spacing situations that is, are only available for characters like Fox and Sheep, who have the speed to micro space on the ground like this adding new layers to Lucas's ground game that wasn't seen before. Next is the full hop double jump cancel Zare. As it stated, you want to double jump cancel during your full hop. So you're going to full hop and then press double jump in Zare while inputting a direction. Most projectiles that move in a straight line are vulnerable from people coming in at a diagonal. So, by doing the full hop double jump cancel there, you are able to hit that diagonal angle and you can avoid a lot of projectiles that go straight. Giving you an option to close in the gap when an opponent is pressuring you from afar. Another usage for full hop double jump cancel there is to incorporate it with your snake dashing. If you do a full hop double jump cancel there on the battlefield, PS2, or small battlefield platforms, you can perform a snake dash on the platform. This allows for Lucas to have new opportunities to apply pressure to characters on platforms and offers a new movement option to really mix up your gameplay. The new slingshot tech 
adds new situations for Lucas to really thrive off of his air cancer. Specifically, the full shot and the flick shot. By utilizing the full shot, Lucas can essentially dash out of his opponent's range and weave back in with a powerful poking tool and combo start. This is an especially good option against characters with weak out of shield games. A lot of characters do have to respect this option, and sometimes you can even chain multiple full shots in order to keep applying pressure to your opponent's block. The flick shot Zare cancel, on the other hand, can serve similar purposes, but can thrive in different situations. Thanks to the momentum that Lucas gets when performing a flick shot, Lucas now has the opportunity to punish characters that are trying to open up Lucas too aggressively. In this example, I anticipate the Palutena to come in with an aggressive option. I preemptively flick shot the position myself and notice the Palu whiffed her dash attack. From there, I Zare canceled inwards and punished the Palutena for trying to force her way in with the dash attack. Double Jump Cancel Zare is already an extremely potent poking and punish tool for Lucas, but mastering it with the flick shot and the full shot can allow for Lucas to get a lot more of opportunities to really thrive with this Zare. With Snake Dashes, Full Heart Double Jump Cancel Zares, and Slingshots, Lucas' Zare is proving to be one of the most powerful and versatile tools in the game. And this is only the beginning. I truly believe putting all the tech together and incorporating his devastating punish game is the ticket for Lucas to shine in this current meta game. And if you don't believe me, then take a look at this. Thank you guys for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. This is the first time doing a video style like this, so let me know in the comment section how you liked it. If there's any feedback you guys would want me to incorporate for the next time I do a video like this. And remember, if you guys like the video, please drop a like. It does go a long way. If you really like this video, if you really like the content and what we do here, then uh, drop a sub. It doesn't cost you guys anything and it does go a long way for the channel. But that's gonna be it from you guys. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time when the grind continues. Have a good one.